Hello, this is the online New Vision TV. I am Nin Komjisha. Voters in the US go to the polls tomorrow to choose between the former First Lady and Secretary of State Hillary Clinton and maverick businessman Donald Trump. Clinton is a Democrat flag bearer, while Trump is the Republican presidential hopeful. New Vision TV gives you an insight. With just a few hours to the U.S. election, the FBI found out that there is no criminality in the new batch of Hillary Clinton's emails that were under investigations. The FBI director, James Comey, said the agency review had found nothing to alter its original conclusion. This has boosted Clinton's campaign, though Comey said in July that she was careless but not a criminal in handling sensitive material on her private email server as the Secretary of State. They were reportedly found on the laptop of Anthony Weiner, the estranged husband of one of the Democratic presidential candidates' closest advisors. Comey's letter to Congress late last month revealing the Bureau's inquiry into Clinton's mails had been revived, shook up the White House race and revived the campaign of the Republican Republican nominee Donald Trump. In other news, the Uganda People's Defense Forces was the first army to take up the African Union mandate of building and keeping Somalia safe 10 years ago. But besides military combat, the UPDF has done a tremendous job of aiding modern health services for a country whose medical infrastructure had broken. The African Union mission in Somalia is offering free corrective surgery to children and adults with left clip and palate deformities. The surgical commission is taking place at the Amsum Level 2 Hospital in Somalia's capital, Mogadishu. A team of doctors from Amsum with partners from the international left group charity, Smile Train and Bonecraft Global Development launched the surgical campaign expected to benefit at least 300 people. A cleft palate and lip entails two or three operations. It, it includes also a speech therapist, psychologist and uh, dentist, odontologist to correct the deformed teeth. So you find that with wires, so you find that it, it adds up to something like $1,000. That's a little bit unaffordable, but apart from the unaffordability, the availability of plastic surgeons in Mogadishu is not something easy to come by at the moment because of the uh, war situation that we are in. So it's not only the cost, but also the availability of the technology, the, 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 technique, the technical personnel to do it and the facilities. Of course, the hospitals are also. A left clip occurs when the tissue that forms the roof of the mouth does not join together during pregnancy. Khadija Hassan Noah, a 33-year-old mother, brought her six-month-old daughter Safiya to the medical camp for a possible surgery. <laughs> Also, a teenager, 19 year old Fatuma Osman Yusufu and her 8 year old son Sayid also suffer the same condition. Although there is no definite medical explanation for left clip and palate, doctors attribute the deformity to a genetic disorder. The cause of cleft lip and palate is sometimes not known for some patients, but there has been noticed that some patients have a genetic background of the condition. For instance, we have here a mother of this child who also has a cleft lip. We have another mother who has bilateral cleft lip and the child also the same. There are currently no available statistics on the number of people suffering from left clip and palate in Somalia. And now for a look at the Pearl of Africa beauty, we take a look at Dore Island. Dore Island is the biggest of the several smaller rocky islands in the eastern part of Lake Victoria. Lying in Namainga district, the island appears with unparalleled, artistically placed beautiful rocks in Africa. Since the island is located in the deep waters of Lake Victoria, it is considered the Dubai of Uganda, where fishermen make quick money on account of the abundance of fish. The name Dore is a corruption of the Lua name Lore, meaning Lake Victoria. The lake was named after Queen Victoria of the United Kingdom by John Hanning Speak. 
Derry Island is naturally beautiful. God took his time when he was creating Derry Island. In great detail, he displayed and paralleled artistic mastery when he placed beautiful rocks in Africa on the island. His generous mood was not yet over. He put a lot of fish in the blue waters surrounding the island. Fishermen here make fortunes and have become millionaires from extracting fish from its deep and fresh waters. Measuring about 12 kilometers, it has two main congested towns, Singla in the east and Golofa in the west. Singla comes from a corruption of the word signal. Golofa, which is Kalisa's base, is the biggest town. It got its name from the rocks piled on one another like storied houses, Golofa in Luganda. The population of Golofa alone is estimated at 20,000. The other smaller towns are Kandege and Mwango, both inhabited by Jolos from Kenya, who were some of the first inhabitants who gave the island the name Lore. The Jolos specialize in catching Mokene. And that's all we had for you. Thank you for watching. Be sure to catch us again tomorrow for more of your updates on your mobile phone, anywhere on the go. I am Lynn Komjisha.